Hi everyone, this is Daicho Cyclist. Today I'm going to show you the latest version of One Lab Indoor Cycling app, which is now in an international English version. And uh, here we go. Welcome to One Lab. And as you can see here, this is the new landing page that looks a bit different. And also, One Lab has a new logo. I previously put in my user ID and my password so now it's remembered all I need to do when I set it up is just simply agree and log in now coming into one lab a couple of things here you can see here you have an events page if there's any local or all areas page racing events <laughs> Halloween there's also quick plays where you can do workouts or a free ride based on a select group of maps that you can use okay career here basically uh, records all the things that you have done with one lap your activities your equipment your challenges that you have uh, achieved in order to move up the levels to acquire more equipment subscription plans and rider levels my activities I've done an earlier demonstration of uh, the ride so basically this is what I have here some data back to Korea my gears here you can choose your bikes according to how much you have ridden to accumulate more points more levels to get uh, unlock more equipment so right now I'm still at level one so you can see here this is the basic bike not so shabby <laughs> do you ride these cranks you can also choose jerseys and unlock as you gain more same thing for helmets and sunglasses All right. helmets as you see there jerseys <coughs> okay back to Korea next is the cycling challenges so you have to sign up for some challenges in order to gain some points and equipments to unlock and go on to each challenge right subscription plan five dollars a month fifteen dollars for three months fifty five dollars for a year <coughs> rider levels there are four rider levels here currently you start at one of course if you're new and as you ride more gain more levels gain more points then you start to move on right uh, in fact if you send an email to support at machine.cn they will evaluate your rider level photo of you holding one lap nickname uh, things like that here uh, skill showing your weight video with files they probably will put you to a level that's probably suitable for your level if you're one two three or four depending on where you are now right so now let's go back to a uh, couple of things here let's go back to home when you click the icon here you change your avatar you can actually change your icon uh, whichever that's to your taste currently these are just what we have here so I'll just go to home right options settings one more thing settings is where you put in your profile like it's my daughter anyway Nothing new. Um, this is your skin tone system settings things like that da, 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 da. okay your power you want to put see your jumping power all the time or you want to see uh, instant or three seconds right for graphics quality depending on your monitor your graphic card so you can up to 4k high quality we save them right save successful go back to the options it's okay go back to okay let's go for a free ride all right
here you will see the energy bars that means the more green you see the more challenging it is with more elevation All right so this is the relaxed route the easiest and on here on the relaxed route you can see how many riders are currently in there it's quite a fair bit of people today mm. Actually, there's a lot of people, but uh, let's just go along, right? Okay, let's just click go. Here we are on the screen here. There are five different views using your number keys. One, two, three, four, or five. Alright. Now I'm back to number one. Over here. I've actually calibrated my power meter based on my smart trainer. I've also calibrated my smart trainer. Link up through my heart rate sensor and my cadence. Cadence I can have the option of choosing from the smart trainer, or I have an independent speed cadence sensor which is on my right. Which you can see here it's a different protocol number from my smart trainer. Once again, you can also use N Plus or Bluetooth to select your protocol. If you have a smart trainer or meter, then you do not need to have a speed sensor detected. Right? If you have a smart trainer, so what happens is you know, connect this way, double click, then when you leave, go back to cycling. As you know there's a power meter for smart trainers and also a smart trainer uh, power meter. So what you do is just choose a smart trainer which is much better. Next. So right now let's go for a quick uh, spin around and have a look around. Alright, but before we do that, let's see here, there's also this. It's also to toggle your view if you do not have a keyboard nearby. This is the settings again that you've seen earlier on for your screen. And this is the turnaround button to actually turn around, right? All this with a click of a mouse. Right now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get out my bike and start moving it. And I'm getting a bit excited as you can see my heart rate is slow. So right now, it's not better along. I'm changing the view. And you notice that on your power, the color changes based on the intensity. of the zones which is a nice subtle touch without having to put too many bars and graphs on the screen and the FTP and heart rate maximums are represented in terms of percentage of max that's someone coming up This is at the best detail, high quality. And the drop below shows you the elevation. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Let's try a 
view differently. version sure is an interesting one now that it comes in all English so okay as we stop here how do we get out of this okay, so let's say I decided to stop settings let's quick right so your data now it's being uploaded More. And now you want to see where you did it's your activities. You can actually upload. Yes. Finding. Okay. So you go to your Strava. I log in using my Facebook. So you authorize. So now we go back to one lap. Okay. You will auto upload now. Found. No. Okay, so it's connected so you can upload upload so with that you actually connect to Strava when you go to Strava you just need to authorize my gene after your login and that's all you need to do and come back here upload subsequently it should all be automatic based on your connections right So with that done, I'll go back to the main page once again. Here's where we started. And workouts. You just probably want to have a look at workouts. We have a couple of these. Zone two, zone three, zone four efforts. But I guess I'll just leave you to explore this when you get here. Alright, uh, this is just a quick walk through today. It's my career, so right now, I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me. If you find this video has been uh, entertaining or in any way educational, do give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.